Let's go through these free agents. I want you guys to just give me a quick, will they stay or will they go and why uh, through the Rangers free agents? Let's start. We start with Strom. I know you talked about him quickly. Molly first stay or go and why? I think he's, I think he's going to go. I think that, I think that the Rangers probably want to look at the open market. Just, I don't think that, I think it would have been done by now. I think that I think that they just they have a certain amount of money to give Strom, and if he's not going to take it, then they can't then they can't sign him. Ron, uh, I think go because uh, I don't think you can win a Stanley Cup with him as your top centerman, one or two. I don't think you win a Stanley Cup with him. Andrew Cop. Um, <sighs> I'm. Molly, I, I uh, I'm not sure about him. I mean, he's he's effective. He can score goals. I just I uh, if I had a choice between him and another guy who's got more foot speed, because I just see the difference between a guy who has the speed to maintain that speed. When you're tired, you get slow. Guys that are fast can still maintain the pace, even when they're tired. When they're good skaters, and so uh, he did win faceoffs. Um, you know, competed hard. I'm just not sure. I guess it would be, it would, I'd have to look at what, what does it cost you to keep them? How much right. money? Yeah. And that's, then I, you I think figure, that's what it's going to come down to. Yeah. Yeah. So I do like them, but I'm not sure if it's going to cost you 8 million. Eh, I don't yeah, think Yeah. So. They can't afford that. I don't yeah. know if they can afford that. Yeah. I mean, it. I, like I said, I think it's going to come down to money, but I think that the Rangers do like him a lot. So I think, I think I'm just going to go with, if, as if I'm saying between Strom and Cop, and I'm going to say Cop stays. Frank Vetrano. I think he's gone. Um, I think that, hey, don't get me wrong. I think his shoot first mentality was so great for this team. And I think that they need another guy like that. But I don't really think he fits into the bottom six, which is where he probably should be. And I don't think he's good enough to be in a top six role in, uh, in the long term either. What time? What what kind of money would we would the Rangers be looking at to keep him? I don't. Is he in a two and a half million? I I don't know to be quite honest yeah. with you. Yeah. See, he's another guy. He's another guy that I, I don't mind him because he um I, I like like I like him and Mott and I like I like the way they on different lines they push the pace on the yeah. forecheck on Mott the back is, check. Mott is so good at that. Yes, the two of them are good at it. They're noticeable. It makes a difference on the back check. Often on the back check, they come back. Someone goes down, they recover. On the four check, they're good. So I like how they play fast. But Toronto is, does have a good shot. So to me, it all depends on what does it cost you to keep them. So it sounds like the next name, you're both in on Tyler Mott. Mott. That yeah. I, I'm going to say yes, just yeah. because I personally think that they should keep it. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah. if I were sitting in the president general manager position, I would keep a guy like Tyler Mott. He what a what a great what a great dude and what a what an awesome player, just an energizer bunny on in every crevice of the ice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement. And I'm sure he's not gonna cost you much more than a exactly. million and a half, million, yeah. million two, million and yeah. a half. hundred percent. Right, a, a few more before we get to Larry. I'll bunch these together. Braun, Rooney, McKay. Do any of them intrigue huh. you to stay? I think Rooney. Who's, who's Braun? Who's Braun? Just, Justin Braun. Yeah, no, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> but no, no ab- absolutely not. Who's Braun? He's, he's so funny. <laughs> no, yeah. just not. Yeah, just not. not. He's a big guy. He's yeah. just not noticeable on the ice. Um, he got beat they, on that one goal. What goal did right. he get beat on? Uh, it's a couple of them, Ron, honestly. Oh. Um, I, I Unless they do something about Patrick Nemeth's contract, which, you know, they could if they can find someone to take it um, or buy it out, whatever they decide to do. Um, I, I, but even still, I don't think that they would go with Braun also because Braun coming from being a top pair guy in Philadelphia. I don't know if, if he would take what the Rangers would be able to afford to give him. So I don't think Braun, but Rooney, I think Rooney will stay. I think Rooney is one of those glue guys that you need. Everybody needs a Kevin Rooney yeah. in their room. And uh, he plays that yeah. role so well, so, yes. so well. So I think Rooney definitely stays. And then McKegg, I think McKegg is more likely to stay over a guy like Julian Gauthier just because he'll come cheap and you know, yeah. he's 
he knows the depth role. That's what he's been his entire career. He's good at it. And he's a, also a really good dude. So can we talk about my favorite free agent? Sure. Georgiev. Oh, Georg- <laughs> that, that was next. The restricted free agents. I assume yeah. you want him gone as quick as possible. <laughs> It's well, nothing it's personal. A, yeah, and nothing it's not even a personal. Want. It's it's a fact at this point. He, he's going to be wearing a different jersey next season. It won't even be in the NHL. <laughs> wow. Well, let's it, hope the and Georgia won't. family are not. That I disagree with. That I okay. disagree with. I think. All that right. I bet you. I bet you a dime on that. He'll probably end up in the KHL. No. I I, I, he'll I don't be a see. He'll be a backup I don't see, somewhere. Okay, well, I'll bet you a dime, Molly. He does not right. become a backup, or he. Someone might get him, but he's not going to end up as a backup. No, nope. it'll be three practices, and they'll say what? <laughs> he's going to go brutal. to Edmonton and become like the star goalie in Edmonton, and we're going. Oh my God, Molly! Ron what are you drinking towards. this morning? <laughs> <laughs> the tequila you were drinking? No, I mean. Listen, yeah. <laughs> That's that's a no, that's a and it shot. look at it's it's nothing personal. It's just it was it was I just couldn't believe yeah, when it sounds pretty personal. Keep... I'm kidding. <laughs> well, only because I want the Rangers to win. It's personal that way. And listen, okay, if Shesterkin would have gotten hurt in the playoffs, that would have been it. That's the season. You well, that would have been it, no go. matter what. <laughs> it yeah. wouldn't have mattered if it wouldn't have yeah. mattered who was their backup. All right. Poor guy. Anyways, um, I uh, no, he won't who? even. Know. I'm telling you, he if he I ends up, someone may said. pick it up, but he will not make a team as a backup in the NHL. Is yes. what I believe. It's a low yeah, blow okay. for Alexander. All right, last name Kako, restricted free agent. Oh Stay God, go. I think we should just wait to ask Larry about this one because just what right, a what a bizarre situation. Let's uh, save it for Larry because we Larry need we need a, a pro story. to come in here and address yeah. this. Right. Yeah. 